Hey guys, um, so today uh, I'm unboxing another bag. Yes, um, I have one more coming. I know I'm really bad and a wallet coming that I got a really good deal on eBay, I think. Um, so this one is a Michael Kors. It's not a Dooney and Burke, but I have been wanting one of these for a while. It's similar. I'm sorry about my dogs. They're going wild. Um, it's similar to the one that Lori has, um, only this is a uh, Safiano leather. It's not the um, coated I think I think hers is the coated material with like the leather handles um, so let me get this out of the box um, I did already cut it open and made sure because last time um, I unboxed something I had kind of a mishap with uh, some um, papers that were in there so I will unbox this it was it was it did say pre-owned but in very good condition it came with the Michael Kors dust bag and I've never had a Michael Kors dust bag so I don't know if this is what it's supposed to be like or not I think it is. Okay. Let me undo this. Put that aside. And then kind of turn around for you. Okay. So it came in this dust bag. I don't know if these are... Maybe these are the older... I don't know. The older type dust bags. I knew the newer ones have like a silver um, on them. It is very satiny. Okay. Sorry about all the movement. Let me see if I can even get this out nicely. Okay. Okay. So here it is. Um, I believe this is like the purple fuchsia color. I'm not really sure. Um, it looks um, slightly less bright um, in person than it does on the phone. Um, there's the Michael Kors and the little Michael Kors um, logo there. It is in the Safiano leather. Um, here's the bottom. It does have four feet, and they do face each other as um, Marie Bag of Beans. She, had a vid she has um, a couple new Michael Kors bags, and she said the feet face each other. They say Michael and then Kors, and then the opposite way, Michael and then Kors. So they do face each other. There is some wear on the feet, but she did say it was pre-owned, so if she used it as a tote bag, um, then it would have some um, feet uh, wear on them. There isn't very much wear on the handles, if you can see that. Now let's check the inside. Um, I believe this is the Jet Set tote, um, the Michael Kors Jet Set tote. Um, I, I seriously don't know what the name is. She In, in her notes, she just had um, in the description that it was a rare purple color. It's kind of a purplish pinky color. Um, that's how I would describe it. I don't know how else to really describe it. It does have the Michael Kors lettering right here. There is nothing on the back other than the handles. Let me try and see if I can get these handles to cooperate so I can show you the inside. They're not going to. Okay. Um, it has this kind of dog leash closure that also says Michael. If you can zoom in there. It says Michael Kors. Um, it has a, the MK lining. Which is a nice lining. Um, the key leash right here. That's the same Safiano leather with the gold matching hardware. And it also says Michael. Oh my gosh, it's not cooperating today. Sorry. Michael Kors. Hopefully, this isn't too long and my phone doesn't die on me. Um, if it does, sorry about that. Um, there is a pocket back here. The cell phone little pocket here and another slip pocket here. And this also has a little tag with the Safiano leather, Michael Michael Kors. And here is the little, I think all Michael Kors have these little uh, like plastic with the um, date stamp or something maybe. Um, and this lining does pull out, which I'm actually glad it does since this was a pre-owned bag. That way I can make sure that there's not like a lot of... Um, you know, ink or anything in it, but it looks pretty good to me right now. Um, made in Vietnam, and I think that's maybe the like code or like number or something. Um, this lining does look pretty good. Um, it has this uh, center zipper pocket, which is the main reason why I wanted this one because I do have an iPad that will fit in here probably. Now, mine doesn't have that other little pocket that Lori's has, I was hoping it did, but it does not. Um, so it looks like it just has this um, middle pocket, which looks pretty good.
for my end. I'm probably going to give it a good look over after I'm, I'm done making this video. This will probably need cleaned up a little bit. It kind of is, um, looking a little, but it says Michael Kors on both sides of the zipper pull. And it's just a plastic zipper, so it has a really nice zipper. Um, let me turn it around. And then this other section here, there is two slip pockets and they look pretty good too as far as it being clean. So, I think I did, got a pretty good deal on this. Um, not too great of a deal. Um, I offered her a price of like $100. Oh, this also has Michael Kors. If you can see that right there. And I don't know if they're on, they're just on the outer side, not on the inside. Oh, one of them's here. Hmm. Kind of strange. They're just on the, um, one side. And that one's on that side. And then that one's on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, sorry, that's just kind of strange how it's not on either the outside or both sides. Um, I offered her like $100, which I thought was an okay, a decent price for this bag because it was pre-owned and um, I've seen them on sale for like $150 to like $200 at Macy's um, before, but I just couldn't see paying like that price at Macy's for just this, for this bag. Um, I did offer her like $150, I think, and she did accept that, so... It is in like new condition. It just has a little bit of wear on the feet. Really, there's no other wear anywhere else except for like maybe a little bit of scuffing right here on like the um, hardware and on the zipper pulls. So I think I did pretty good on it. It is in pretty good condition. Um, you guys let me know what you think. And I have another video coming. Um, I've been gravitating uh, more towards these bags that have like the middle zipper compartment because I do like that and it kind of makes me more organized in my bag. Um, I was, I think I might try and use this for school. It's not like too, too big, but it's not like too small, I don't think either. So I'm going to try and use this for school and I might do a video on like what fits in here if you guys want to see that. Um, I know Lori already kind of did one, but maybe like for school wise instead of like work wise. Um, um, the bag I have coming is a Shelby shopper, um, and I got it in plum, so that is going to come up here either tomorrow or the next day, um, and I did also order a little, um, Dooney and Burke, like, billfold wallet type thing for a good deal on eBay. So, those are coming, um, let me know if you want me to do any other videos or reviews, um, I'm enjoying all your videos, thanks for all your comments, and thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.